to the heavily edited show for politically correct reasons. <laughs> Don Rickles was here. My next guest stars on uh, the Fox comedy hit New Girl. Take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome Max Greenfield, everybody. Max Max, 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 did you, did you bump into Rickles uh, outside there? A lot of Jewish on the show. Oh. <laughs> Rickles, me? Yeah, oh, you're Jewish. Good, oh, yes, I am. Oh, I know, I know. Very much so. Yeah, yeah. I see how I, uh, in the clip, I just, I laid into the schmear a little bit. That was oh, me. Oh, that's how you, oh, well, that was yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Have, are, are you familiar with Mr. Rickles? Have you met very him? Very much so. Yeah. I was very excited. He, you know, look. I, first of all, I got to meet him uh, backstage, which right. was like... Did he insult you? The, of course. Yeah, which yeah. Is, <laughs> Which is the best? I right, feel like well, it's kind of a thing, you know. You're like this. I made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the thing. You, what you know, you've made it in show business when he says, that, you know, that you know that you haven't, basically. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, and uh, no. I mean, it's it's odd. You you, you work. Uh, this is this show has been kind of my my big my biggest job. But the and, one uh, on Fox? Yes, the that's one on a big Fox. hit show. Yeah, it's really nice, and um, you realize when you get on a show like that how difficult it must be to maintain success in this business. And I wouldn't for... know. I wouldn't know at all, but I tell you. <laughs> you, you got to figure it would be difficult. But, yeah. you know, you see someone like Don who's been around for so long and has continued to be funny and is still yeah, is yeah, so yeah. funny. Listen, you know what? Do, do you have one of the iPads? Uh, I... You know, my daughter uses the iPad. Really? But I, I heard Rickles has. Yeah, the, that's what uh, I was going to say. Look, I, I forgot to. He's got a nap. Movie. He's got a nap. That's and right. It's like it's, it has a nap, and then you press things on the app. Let's play with it. All right. <laughs> All right. What kind of insult would you like? Um, uh, there's got to be a Jew category. Uh, Jew category. Ethnic. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Uh, Italians, Ethiopians, Germans, Greeks, Italians, Italians, Indians, Italians, Japanese, Jews. Here Jews. we are, yeah. It goes like this. Sylvia, go to hell. I'm fed up with you, Shirley. I'm fed up with you, Arthur. Damn it, don't get on my nerves. Was this a monologue? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Zinger, this is an autobiography. What yeah. the hell? This is what happens when you're Jew. The, 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 the. Get wrinkles, you good. I dead. When you're dead, I throw dirt in your face. I did. <laughs> Well, uh, you know, anyway, uh, yeah, you, you want to get that for your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> what, what age is your daughter? She's two and a half. Oh, she'll love that. No, yeah. Really into yeah, it. she'll be Mr. Potato Head is being mean to me. It'll yeah, be yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Speaking of which, you know what my daughter loves? What? Which she's two and a half. She probably shouldn't be watching this, but How to Train Your Dragon. I'm in that movie. Well, I'm not in it. I do the voice in it. And yeah. let me tell you something. A fantastic performance. <laughs> By who? You. No! <laughs> yeah. You're my favorite guest. Yeah, I'm telling you. Uh, that's it's a really nice. It's a really do you ever nice do movie. the card? You ever do the the animated voices? I wish. Ah, uh, you'll do them. I wish. You'll do them. Wouldn't that be nice? I, it'd be tough for me to be in that movie though, because I don't think I could play. I don't think I could be like the you know, what? a Viking fighting. Was those. you kind of a Jewish Viking? I'd, I'd, I'd be, nah, yeah, but I just it's not me. Oh. I'd be more like Hiccup. I'd be more like you know. Oh yeah, the like, ones who scare. I can't. I can't kill the dragon. Are you? Because I feel bad. <laughs> you, do you have any pets? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, well, imagine yourself, you had a pet that you didn't like and you wanted to kill it. It would just be like that. It sounds horrible. Well, I, I'm, I'm not advocating that. I'm just, you know, helping you get there using an acting technique. But uh, Yeah, I guess, I guess you're right to, to some degree. But, you know, you see the dragon in the movie, the, the, the cat dragon. Yeah, the cat dragon. The, yeah, the, an, an I think did you not see the movie? No, no. <laughs> I just did a voice. I you just did a voice. I just did a voice. I don't, I don't have just to see it as well. Just you and Gerald Butler yeah, hanging yeah. out, having a good time. Yeah. Don't see the movie. We don't care. No. It was beautiful. It was a really nice no, movie. No, of course. It's a lovely movie. Yeah. I, I actually helped paint it. Did you really? An artist you are? <laughs> do you do any painting? You, I, well, you know, I, uh, not really. I used to a little bit. Are you, are you actually painting? Like, yeah, I got into school for that. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. I, I was totally fishing. I'm no, really... yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what do you do? Watercolors, oils, all that apartments? stuff. Apartments? Yeah, sure. That too. Really? That too. I've done that. I'm not yeah. very good though. Uh, what? Uh, morally, you're not very good. Like, no, at the, at the painting and stuff. Oh, I thought as well. We moved on. Now we're talking about just a general moral level of behavior. You weren't oh, very good. Were, okay, well, let's talk about you know some ethics and morals and 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 well, uh, you know, and life beyond good and evil. Let's get a little Nietzsche in on it. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I know who that is. Are you in therapy? 
You're probably too young. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have to get there, though. <laughs> I can tell I, you're pointing at your head, I'm but that's too, a I'm too scared. I'm too scared. Here's the thing with therapy. I feel like they then, it's like you, you have to figure out all the answers on, you know, yourself. No. And they ask you questions and you go, oh, and then, and then all of a sudden you have one of those ones where you go, Oh, yes, I get it, that's my problem. Yeah! So I try, I try to do that myself at home while I'll ask myself questions, no. and that's a big mistake. That's the big mistake. Yeah. Because right there you say, oh yes, I've solved my problem, and then you, as the therapist, say, yes, you have, and then the both of you walk out being mm -hmm. wrong. Yeah. yeah. Self-help is not good when, when you're trying to help yourself. Well, there's self-help and, and there's self-help. I mean, yeah. it's, you know. It's not good. Well, we're out of time here. Um, <laughs> what do you fancy? Uh, mouth organ, awkward pause? You want to go for the big cash prize? Um, awkward pause, for sure. Oh. How about awkward pause for the cash prize? Like, I've done something that you then owe me money for, but you're not, you don't want to talk about it, and it's a weird thing. <laughs> and we have that month, and then we have that moment. I really like this guy, man. <laughs> I mean, you're really bringing stuff here. I really like, because a lot of people just say, awkward pass. But that, I mean, you're, you're really painting why the world. Why don't we mix it? We can mix it all up, you yeah. know? Yeah, this is great. Okay, yeah. so an awkward pause for money. Yeah, so you... Uh, and then the slight sound of a harmonica floating in from nowhere. No, 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 I, no, no, I got it, okay? What? You owe me money, okay? Right. But we don't want to talk about why it's a real... It's, it would embarrass everybody. <laughs> Right. So there's an awkward pause. And as I walk off with the money, you play the harmonica as if we were in uh, Shane or, or some sort. Like a, like a, like a, uh, like a cowboy movie. <laughs> yeah, all right, man. Uh, they get it. They're into it. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just going to be great. I'm going with it, right? Okay, it's going to so, be great. I'm right. painting another picture. Right, right, right. No, I get it. Yeah, right, so. okay, here we go. Okay. An Emmy nominated actor. Ooh. It's all right, all right, come on, it's not that good. <laughs> it's not, I've been nominated for an Emmy, doesn't make you that good, does it? No, nobody gives a rat's ass. No, no, no. <laughs> anyway, don't mention that when he comes out, he's probably very proud of it. Yeah, sure, I'm sure he is. All right, anyway, he's on it. he stars in New Girl, which airs Tuesdays on Fox. Please welcome the lovely Max Greenfield, everybody. Max Greenfield. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. Listen, congratulations on that Emmy nomination. That's fantastic. We did it. Yeah! That's great. You look great. So do you. Wait, I, I say you look great. You don't come out and say Because I, I wanted to beat you to the point. Why? why? Because why not? Don't, don't mess with the format of late night. That's not right. But I, wa I, wanted, I wanted to jump on it before you got there. All right. Uh, uh, I you hear look fantastic. You look great. How was New York? It was all right. Hey, I wasn't even in New York. <laughs> I like your sweater. Thank you very much. No, it's very nice. Yeah, Are you expecting uh, it to be cold? Well, I don't know. I, I hear you keep it cold here, and I like, I do like, I like the green. Cold. It brings out my eyes a It bit. does bring out Look, your I eyes. Look, I see you did the same thing with your tie. And, uh, well, and your I wore this tie a few weeks ago, and it was very popular, so I thought I wore it. It was a real home run. Yeah, no. I, I was watching backstage, and I thought... You've it, been backstage for a couple of weeks? Well, no, but I... I <laughs> this is an Emmy-nominated actor here, man. You can't have him hanging around. 
No, no, no. I want, I want it to be here. Oh, I want right. it. Okay. And then I saw the tie, and I saw you, you were wearing the tie when you read that beautiful poem. Oh, thanks. For yes. That. Are you a fan of poetry? I like poems. Yeah. What's your, yeah. Uh, what, what kind of poetry do you like? I, well, do you I like Yeats. Do you like Yeats? Oh, the Irish, eh? <laughs> Enigmatic, scary. Not too, not too familiar with Yeats or no. many other poets, for that matter. But I will tell you this. What? Um, I, I liked where you were going with the initial poem that you were reading. Well, it was by Edgar Allan Poe. He's an American. It's rare that we get any correspondence from them on the show. I, well, sure. I would have liked for you to have seen it through. You stopped when there was a, uh, y you know, an emotional line, mm. and you said, this is going too dark, but maybe there was some, some light at the end of that poem for everybody to hear. <laughs> no, because I skimmed ahead, and there wasn't. Did you really? Uh, yeah. The, it, it was it, all darkness? It went dark and then worse. Uh, <laughs> That's a yeah. shame. Yeah, it was a little bit. That's why I steer clear of anything, you know, literature. Yeah, me, me too. I like I like pictures. I like to hear I like to hear the poems, not so much read them. Right, I like it better if they're just interpreted in an Instagram format. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of of, uh, of watching things, I hear I hear you're into Yo Gabba Gabba these days. Yeah, yeah, I've been watching it a lot. Yeah, yeah. How did you know that? Yeah, well, you know, I hear things. You've been still hanging around here. Yeah, I've been watching because I, I, got got, I got my ear to, yeah, to the grindstone. You've got a kid the same age as my kid, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. My youngest is two. Your youngest is about two, yeah? Yeah, she, well, she'll be three in, in January. So you watch, the, you watch DJ Lance? DJ Lance. And you'll get, hello, friends! Hello, yeah. Did you see my hat move around? Sure. <laughs> 2D. 2D, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Fufa. F Fufa? Muno. Muno and mm -hmm. Flex, the robot? Uh, it's Plex. Plex? Yes, it's Plex. <laughs> He's the yellow robot. No, I think He's, it's Flex. I'm 100% I'm sure it's, it's Flex. I don't understand the accent. I think it's, I think it's Flex. Because I was thinking, Flex! Don't look it up on the phone. Yeah. No, no, I don't, don't, no, don't look it up. These don't have phones, they're homeless. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> what did you watch when you were a kid then? Saved by the Bell, you're about that age. Oh yeah, we were real into Saved by the Bell. Uh, but even before that, I, you know, still Sesame Street. Oh yeah, everyone yeah. loves it. Have you been on it yet? No. Maybe you could be in the dance thing in Yo Gabba Gabba. They have the dance thing there. I know. Elijah I, Wood we, did one. I watched one. Elijah Wood is the guest on Yo Gabba Gabba. And he was wonderful. He was great. Yeah, I've yeah. seen them all. All of them? <laughs> I've seen all of them multiple times. At this what about the Teletubbies? You've seen all of them? Not, no, we're not into the Teletubbies. Oh, really? Big time Dora. I'm, Dora the Explorer? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. And our boyfriend, Diego? Oh, yeah. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Go Diego, go. Go Diego, go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I carved a pumpkin this uh, this year. Is that for my code daughter. for something? Is that a sex thing? Go Diego, go. No, carved a pumpkin. Well, <laughs> Jeff, is that a sex thing? Oh hell yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're talking about Go Diego, go. No, we're not talking about sex. Oh, okay. Not to to. <laughs> I carved a pumpkin. Okay. Yeah. For my, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for my daughter. Right. Okay. Yes. And I made Dora. You made Dora of a and, pumpkin. And I was about. That's was, racist. How is that racist? I don't know. I made. A I just thought I would throw it at you. See where it landed. I carved, yeah. I carved Dora into a pumpkin, and I did a really good job. I that felt like it great. went did really well. Did you bring a picture of it? Well, no. Then I, I have to take your word for it. Yes. All right. That sounds like it was really good. It was really well. I got you know you, you get about, it was it was a difficult one where you're like you're really going in there and you're making some artistic lines and then. <laughs> About 45 minutes in, I thought, wow, this is going really well. If this should fall apart at this point, I'm going to be really devastated. Mm. Sure enough, it did not fall apart. Great. And uh, w what... What we this, did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it would have been it would have really, uh, you know, slab this thing home if you'd either had a photograph or bought the I pumpkin in for me to see it. <laughs> I think the pumpkin fell apart, to be totally honest with you, last night. But now, let for me a ask minute. you a question. Do you think pumpkins are uh, decaying faster than they used to? Yes. I think so, right? Because I carved mine the other day. And when I say carved my pumpkin, what did you, I mean just. Uh, what did you do? I, you know, triangle eyes, scary mouth. That's all I do. What, and that was, not, uh, that was not sexual. No, 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 no. no. Triangle eyes, scary mouth. That's not a sexual. It's carving a pumpkin. Get, get your head I, out of there. That's what I was saying in the first place. Right, anyway, so I carved it in, in it, like two days. <laughs> like that. That was it. Yeah, I know. And then they, they, it gets. What, oh, the, you know what I noticed though? What? The candle we put in it was too was a was a large candle. Oh, was that a scented candle? No, 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 oh. no. It was it was a but it was too big for the pumpkin. It started burning the pumpkin. Oh. I was unaware of this, and then all of a sudden I started smell. I go, oh, that smells good. Like. <laughs>
<laughs> and I asked my wife. Good like, and dangerous. Well, sure, time. but I wasn't sure, I wasn't aware that something was burning. And I asked my wife, "Did you make toast?" And she goes, "No." And then I, and it dawned on me, "Oh, the pumpkin's burning." And I go, "Let's burn, let's let it burn a little bit longer, because it smells so good." Yeah. You know, whenever I smell toast, I think I'm having a stroke. And yet, <laughs> why? Well, I don't even think it's a thing, but I just got it in my head. I, yeah. Because it's, it's, it's like taste pennies, but I don't taste pennies. I smell toast, and I, oh, I think I'm having a stroke. Every morning when I smell breakfast, I'm like, oh no, and then I, then I'm all right. But you know, one morning I could be right. Well, <laughs> let's hope not. But let's hope not. We, we have to take a commercial break. You do it. Well, okay. Well, uh, we're going to commercial break. We're going to be right back with more. Uh, m me and you. Yeah. And, uh, have, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Come here, come here, look at this. Look, look. Oh, there it is. Yeah, look at that. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you. I put a picture of this pumpkin on Twitter, yeah. and the response was overwhelming. What's your Twitter handle? I am Greenfield. That's it? Yeah. At I am Greenfield. <laughs> nah, that's not very good. Why not? <laughs> What's yours? Craigie Ferg. I know. I follow you. You follow me on the tweeting? Sure. Sure I do. Yeah. You follow me? Uh, well, yeah. No, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> you know, why, you know how I know? Huh? Because if you did, you would have seen the, my, uh, my pumpkin. No, let's All not. Right, it okay. could have gone. Just checking, I was checking. It uh, could have no. gone someplace else. But I'm okay. saying, I put it up there. What, what, what a response from the. Did from people, the did people like it? People loved it. How many uh, Tweety fans have you got? Their followers, your. Uh, um, I, it's like two, two hundred. Uh, two hundred. Two hundred thousand. Yeah. Whoa! Can you imagine? Good lord! And I started with one. That's insane. <laughs> and that was my mom. My mom's. My mom followed me, and she was. What, she was excited to follow me. I bet she was. I didn't have a lot to say in the beginning. What's your mom's Tweety handle? She's not on there. I mean, or she, 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 I don't know what her, I, I think it's like at Mrs. Josie, uh, Miss Josie BG or something. You should follow her. Yeah, she's, yeah. She's a maniac on there. <laughs> How was Radio City? That's all right. Yeah? Yeah, you, yeah. You get nervous when you do something like that? Yeah. No? It's just a big, giant, historical nervous. event. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was crapping my pants. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, it's a good feel. It's fun, though. It's sure. Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff was there as well. Yeah. I oh, love yeah. Good yeah. times. Good times. <laughs> Jeff, how'd you, how'd you feel about it? That was great, man. I loved it. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there were dan we had dancers. Did you, did you really? Yeah. It was also it was a whole thing. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Good for oh, you, man. Oh, hey, hey, yes. uh, your show. Uh, how is it? Oh, but I want to hear about no, your stand No, 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 man. Can't be no, yeah, new girl. Yeah, yeah. It's the best. Great. Uh, all right, you want it? We're out of time. <laughs> well, a piece of fruit. We got a new fruit. It's, uh, it's a new day, new fruit. Uh, what do you think? You want a sweet, a sweet Mamie? Well, you know, I'm more of a it's vegetable guy. Oh, vegetables? Uh, I don't think well, we got Well, what do we got? What is this? This got... is the biggest weirdest banana. Do you want a lady apple? <laughs> do you want a lady apple? A lady apple and, yeah. a, and a banana. It's a lady apple. It's the clitoris of apples. <laughs> Good luck. No one can find it. No one can find it. It's a joke, man. It's a joke. Look at all these. Hey, you know what that is? That is a hat waiting to happen. Come on. Come on, Carmen Miranda. Or what if you made a necklace? Oh, of I love it. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's nice. All right, you want the bananas then? Yeah, sure, I'll take this. All right, then. I could use this. <laughs> well, I, you know, I came here and I thought, oh, oh could I just get some mini bananas? Uh, They're actually called uh, a grouping of mini ba bananas. Baby bananas. Ba baby, sure, baby bananas from Guatemala. Do you know baby bananas, the dancer? Hmm? We, we went to high school together. You and Baby Bananas? Yeah. I hear he's the greatest dancer of all. Shows how well you know him. He is a she. I haven't seen him for a while. Yeah. And let me... <laughs> she was a fantastic student. Yeah, ah. Yeah, what do you think her best subject was? Bananas? You got it. <laughs> Get out of here. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Max, Max. 
Man, you you look good, man. You look you look very you look really good. I mean, thank you, you very much. Going on green pants. I mean, hi diddly d. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> I'm not afraid of it. No, no, don't worry. Yeah. Also, I suspect you'd take it away. Maybe. Because as a gift. No, it's not what you you saying. I don't give you a gift, and I get you get the you get the free cup. When you come to the show. Which I love. Look. I keep all of them. Yeah, I have two of them, and now I'll have a third. No, I think in the third, you stop getting gifts after that. Is that true? Yeah, and then... Craig's really nice. He autographed them. And this one said, welcome back, which made me feel like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, you know, you... It's, like, like, it's true. I, it was, I, like, I, I'm trying to make you feel like, yeah, oh, this is just you. It's, a ho it's home. It's, it, well, no, it's not. It's not that... <laughs> But you get a you get a homey feel from from like, I, hey welcome back it's like a, it's like a welcome mat that says welcome back. Do, do you have a welcome mat at your they house? They usually say welcome. They usually don't say welcome. No, back. they just say but welcome. This, but this would be a nice one that said welcome back. Yeah, but how would you know? It may be someone who's never been there before. Anyway, oh, you just say that to everyone. Yeah, but wouldn't you feel better if it was your first time someplace and it said welcome back and you went yeah maybe I have been here before. <laughs> so what you're telling me is that you're a Hindu and you believe in reincarnation. That went, far, that went far in the religious direction, and I'm not prepared to go down that road. So, are you saying to me you don't like Hindus because they'll be upset? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I kind of set you up there a little bit. A I'm, little not, bit. I'm not knowledggeable in that direction. If right. we're going to go down that road, I, I feel like I, I could maybe say some things that would get both of us in trouble. Yeah, well, then don't say them, because yeah. I already, I think I caused a little trouble uh, already tonight. <laughs> I mentioned uh, a What'd vagina at the wrong moment, and... I do that all the time. Do you? <laughs> well... I say it often on the show, and they get, they get upset with me, and they say, can you pronounce it correctly? Because I say, vagina. <laughs> you, you only say it like that if you're being sarcastic to it. <laughs> That's what I tell the producers of the show. <laughs> things anyway at home how are, how's your life how are the kids the kids are you know we finally reached the place where my daughter's three and oh. I finally reached the place where we can get into the uh, Dr. Seuss reading material it went from because you know Dr. Seuss books are longer than you might think or have or oh no remember. I've got I've got kids I, I I've read the Dr. Seuss I look I get stoned I've read them anyway yeah, 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 yeah. let me tell you something so you know I'll start off with uh you know, you start off with these smaller baby books, and at some point you go, enough with uh, Right, the little pea doesn't like candy. I get it. Yeah, yeah I know. My, your, your ears are under the earmuffs. Uh, okay. So now, we're... <laughs> what was, I was one of the books. There's like these little flaps that you pull off, and then you go, oh, what's under the earmuffs? And it's your ears. They're earmuffs. I get it. She knows what's that, that one? What's that one called? The earmuff book. I think it's, uh, ear, ear. where's the baby's belly button or something? Because eventually you got to find the baby's belly button. Oh, right, okay. Oh, is it, is it under the ear earmuffs? No. no yeah. Right, yeah, right, I get it. Yeah, I do a lot of that. It's yeah. the whole thing. So you get sick of that book after mm, the 70s. Oh, yeah. And, uh, but Should now we're into Dr. Seuss, and I've been playing a game with myself. Well, hey, you know, you, you get very excited to, that you can read these books. But uh, let me tell you something. Real t some real tongue twisters in, in Dr. Seuss. Green and eggs and ham? Yeah, all those. Uh, uh, red fish, blue fish, one fish, two fish. Yeah. These are difficult books to read. And well, listen, you think that's hard. You wait till you get to Dostoyevsky. You're going to crack it. Your pants. <laughs> I I'm telling you. That's the... That stuff's crazy hard. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't even. Want, I look, I'm, I'm terrified for Harry Potter. Oh no, you must be. Harry Potter's great. I, Harry Potter. D did you get into Harry Potter before your kids? Be honest. No. Really? Oh, then it's great. You've got all this to. That's uh, right. Yeah, it's fantastic. And then we'll read the books, and then I feel like as a reward after finishing the books, we'll watch the movies. Yeah, that's how it starts. Then you just watch the movie. Yeah. You think? <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, yeah, put, put the movie in. Uh. Daddy has to have a lie down. <laughs> nah, you, you'll, you'll do it all the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you get into these Dr. Seuss books and, uh, you know, if... if you're I'm, really letting... You're, you're staying on the Dr. Seuss thing. I'm telling you, because... Like, you, like, you really want to sell this thing. Well, I like, didn't... I've, you better say cat at the end of this, because that's... By the way, that, that was... <laughs> 
I was waiting for that one to come back around, and I go, "What, what is he gonna say? What is he gonna say?" And man, <laughs> the cat was a real was a real home run. Well, it was funny, right? It's funny. Yeah, I thought it was funny. It was as good. It was as good as it gets. You're mocking me. You're mocking I'm, me. I'm 100. Yeah. percent I'm not. All right. I, believe me. Uh, I, I make I really... jokes. I make jokes on our set like that all the time, <laughs> and, and I'll be like, "Cat," and they'll go, "No." <laughs> Say, I, think, I don't think you should work with these people. Uh oh. <laughs> they, no. they say you should stick. They should, you should you should pronounce vagina like vagina. What? Yeah, and and then you should not say cat at the end of these things. I, I'm with, Craig. Believe me, I'm with you. <laughs> we'll be right back after these commercials. break, I, well, certainly I was talking to Max and Michael came over from the desk and he went, your button, and then went, moved away. And, I, and we thought it was uh, your button. Well, at first, apparently I, my button was undone. I looked at my shirt yeah, and, and I thought, oh, those are good. And then I went, oh, oh goodness gracious. <laughs> was, a, was, was another button undone for the whole first segment. Yeah, well, well Oof, bullet dodged. <laughs> Are you implying you've got a big penis or something? Is that... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, so I shouldn't say it like that. I should say, penis. Is that how you say it? Well, you can say penis. Penis. Uh, don't, don't, don't say it anymore. We're no, getting, I won't. You know, I know. Yeah, no, no. I just, I like it too much when you say it. <laughs> no, you know what? Uh, here's the thing. I was in Scotland. I was back home for a while, and I think I put on a little weight. And that's right. Really? Yeah, I put on about 10 pounds, I think. Were you eating? Where was I eating? What were you eating? Oh, yeah, you know, fried stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, fried, fried uh, meat and then uh, fried uh, candy. What kind of fried candy? What kind of fried candy you got, sailor? I'll eat any. I, I, they, no, you can, I don't eat these much, but you can, uh, you can get a fried Mars bar if you want. Ooh. Yeah. I've heard about fried Twinkies. I saw that on a television show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What television show are we talking about here? You know, if you if, if you get <laughs> you said television show like that was such an unusual thing. Like well, so I saw that on a on a television show. Woo! Somebody's got a TV. <laughs> but that, it's not the 1920s, man. Everybody's seen a television. I saw that on a television show. Okay, we've all seen television. What the hell? But, it was like, but can you imagine seeing a fried Twinkie on a, on a television show? It would be, and then it would be like, oh my God, look at this television show that I'm seeing a fried Twinkie on. You get excited, you're on the Food Network, and you're going like, oh, ah, wow. Ah, I see, you were on the Food Network. Yeah, and what they do is on these Food Network shows, they'll do like segments, and the first segment's like, oh, let's fry, let's, let's fry some potatoes. Oh, wow, it's, it's, it's a french fry. And then as it goes on, by the third segment, let's stick a Twinkie in there. Yeah! And that's when things get good. That's right. It's when you buy one of them waffle things, and you start with bread, and then you think, ah, let's get an egg, and then you get an egg <laughs> yeah. in there. And then you're like, oh, let's get one of the kids. Yeah! It's a joke, it's a joke, it's a joke. Gosh, I would never do that. Did you ever have fun with it? I should have said cat. Uh, <laughs> you want to get people mad, uh, do a late night show and suggest that you would put your cat in a waffle iron. People, easy. And then keep on bringing it up. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you mustn't ever do that. I did it once, but I don't think anyone noticed. <laughs> Just stick on it like the Dr. Yeah. Seuss and just be like, no, but there was this time. We <laughs> oh, yeah. We put it Dr. Seuss, don't tell us about that. <laughs> All right, listen. We're, uh, we're, out, we're, out, we're out of time. So Why did it went by so fast? <laughs> yeah, it's just a regular amount of time. It's a lot yeah, of physics. No, so, um, how do you want to get out of here? Awkward pause? Fancy an awkward pause? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this, I got a good one. Oh, okay, okay. This I'll, is not awkward, I'll, though, yeah. I'll bring up, I'll bring, I'll bring up uh, Dr. Seuss one more time, and then you awkward pause like, that wasn't funny, and then I'll walk off. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, you're going to, like, just walk right off? Well, no, I don't have to walk right off, but it would be very awkward. All right, then. All right, then. And then, so I'm reading the Dr. Seuss book, and at the very end, I couldn't get through the thing, and my daughter looked at me like I couldn't read. <laughs> it's because she didn't think I could read. Uh, 
and 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 you can read. Cause, yeah, because I'm. Okay. You look, you look great. You, you look great, buddy. I love you. I love you. Have corduroy, a corduroy jacket. Thank you. That's fantastic. Corduroy. Corduroy. That's right. It's lovely. It's thank very you good. very you look, much. You look like you're from the Fall Collection of something. Oh yeah. No, it's really good, man. I am the Fall Collection. No, it, it's like you're a male model. Oh. Did you ever model? Craig, keep going. I'm gonna let you keep going. I like. I like. This. Well, are, are, did you ever male model? No, or? I didn't. Although, well, you know, there was a minute. No, I didn't. I would like to go down a path and, and tell you that I did, but I didn't. You should have. Yeah. Yeah, in your earlier career. What did yeah. you do before you became successful in your show about being a guy that does jigsaw strip jigsaw puzzles? Co coincidentally, I was thinking, should, if I was a model, I probably would model for perhaps Gap Kids. Um, <laughs> but did you know I think that, that ship has sailed big time. <laughs> Not so much, that's sort of where I live, uh, stylistically. Mm. Um, but I will tell you this, I worked at Gap Kids. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Neither do I. Um, I worked there for about a month and a half. Um, it, it, was, it was not a good fit. Well, you know, it's a lot of moms coming in, they're, they're harassed, they're busy, they're trying to get clothes and get out, and you're there, you know, in I, the way. I, let me tell you something, it's very difficult to fold those little clothes. <laughs> I've got kids. I know how difficult it is. Yeah. yeah. It's even I, more difficult if the kids are still in them. You're like, ah. <laughs> I, well, I, will, <laughs> I a joke. I don't fold clothes with my kids in them. <laughs> I'm not a monster. I don't do it anymore. <laughs> no, how old are your kids? They're quite young, aren't they? Same uh, age my, as my daughter is going to be four in January. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, my youngest boy will be three in January. Do you have others or you just have your daughter? Just, just the one. Well, it's time to go again. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I don't know. We, I, uh, it's definitely. Uh, oh, it'll a, happen. It's a negotiation. Right now, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Well, the negotiation is that you think there's a negotiation. That's sure. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. You, have the, you have two of them. Correct? I have two. I have yes. two boys though. Two and they're boys. and then what's the age? Oh, it's a nice big gap. There's one of them's twelve, and the other one's coming up on three. Oh yeah, you're yeah, yeah. yeah you're in good shape. Yeah. The twelve year old sleeping at this point, I should hope. Oh, well, quite a lot yeah. actually. Yeah. 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 I can't imagine having one, uh, having two that are, that I don't are know not people sleeping. Do it. I don't know how people do it. Oh, I don't either. You know, it's like they have two or three babies at the same time. I'm like, how do you do it? And no. Like, I don't know. These are <laughs> <laughs> these reality shows with. Uh, and the then you've got a camera crew years? in your house. Forget it. Like, what, there's a, like, what was that show? It's like I've had sixteen babies or something. Yeah, it's none of those. <laughs> and they're like. They're like, oh, it's, I'm uh, so tired. I'm like, believe, I, this is all fake. Yeah. You feel like you'd be, you'd be passed out. You have no time to do an interview on a. On yeah, a that's camera. right. Oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, you don't like, have time for long like, sentences uh, like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, yeah. What's your daughter watching on TV now? This show yet? No. Although sometimes. Educationally she's, advanced. She will stay up. <laughs> yeah. She will stay up this late, though, sometimes, really? which is a real problem. Yeah. Um, but uh, what is she wearing? She she likes the Dora the Explorer. She oh yeah, every, all the kids love that. Yeah, bu yeah, yeah. Busy Town Mysteries. I don't know that one. <laughs> She's real into Busy Town. What about Charlie and Lola? Do you like Charlie and Lola? I don't know Charlie. Charlie and Lola is on the Disney Channel, but it's an English show, and it's like Charlie. I've got my my name's Charlie. I've got little sister Lola. <laughs> She watches one called Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig, yeah. Yes. Pe and then there's Papa Pig who's like, yeah. like that, yeah. yeah. But it's English accent. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And Hello, my, Peppa. Hello, Mr. Pig. Yeah. Hello, yeah. yeah, yeah. And my daughter will do the the British accent for a minute, and it's it's the, she just did it out of the blue one day, and it was the funniest thing I. Oh, heard it's in amazing. My life. Yeah. I forgot. She was like, well, if if you step in muddy puddles, <laughs> you have to wear your boots. Yeah. And she just starts walking around saying that, and um, well, that is true though. <laughs> I know it is. Right, I mean, that, yeah, you can't argue. That's an international it's logic. Not, I kind of, yeah. I kind of tune out while she's watching the show. Mm, sure. And then she'll say something like that to me, like, uh, and then I go, "Well, the other, that's true." And then she goes, "No, Dad, it's from Peppa Pig." 
<laughs> oh, so you think she came up with it? Or, I, or, I was like, uh, I'm like, honey, it's not even raining. Don't worry about it. Did you ever zone? Do you ever zone out when you're reading your kid a story? Like sometimes I'll be reading yeah. Giraffe and a Half, and I forget if the snake's eating cake or not eating cake. I'm just like, <laughs> like I'm falling asleep as I'm reading the story. <laughs> do you ever do this? You ever just? You're reading the words, but you're not comprehending what Absolutely. you're saying. Absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're thinking about your day, and you're just saying words, and then you get three pages, four pages in, and you go, I'm not relaying the storyline to my daughter at all right yeah. If she's as, as lost as I am, what, what, what example am I setting here? You're getting them used to performance mediocrity, that's all. <laughs> <coughs> It'll be that's fine right. later on when they that's start watching TV. They'll be like, proper grown-up TV, where the actors really don't care. <laughs> Talking of which, how's the show going? Oh, my, it yeah. is going very well. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the biggest show in the world. In the history. Uh, yeah. The history I, I, the world. What is it like, the viewers, it's more people watch an episode of this than watch the moon landing. Every week. Every week. I, um... <laughs> No, I think it's something, it's something around like a, a, a billion. Yeah, 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 a billion. A billion. Yeah, but, the, but the, uh, the way they measure it in India is a little... But it's hard to gauge because of the internet. Cause you right, because of the, the internet. internet. So I think we're around a billion people. Over is what? that still around the internet? I don't know. <laughs> it's tough. There's a lot of different internets. Yeah, I, I, went, I went off it. Yeah, me too. After MySpace, I'm like, I'm done. Yeah, I, 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 I forget the internet. I'm just yeah. on Netflix. Did you watch Orange is the New Black? Ugh. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Oh. My, you know, my friend uh, Natasha Leone's on that and she's the best. I did a movie with her. Isn't she wonderful? Well, I don't know. We were never in any scenes together. Uh, <laughs> I think she is fantastic she's on that great show. She's great in, that, love in her. that show. Yeah. But, and the girl who does the lead is amazing. Yeah, they're all very good. Yeah. I, good what's her name again, the girl who does the lead? <laughs> Hey. Schilling? Isn't it Taryn Schilling or something? Is that right? What was it? I hit it right? Yeah. Oh! Hey! I'm... Yeah! Hey! Hey, lady! You want to come down and produce the rest of the show for us, would you? It'd be great if she was wrong. Yeah, yeah. No, no, she is. I remember now. She's really good. Yeah, though. no, it's a great show. It's a great show, yeah. yeah. I see you have two, uh... I see you have not one, but two disco balls on your, on your desk. Yeah, one of them's, uh, are you into disco? Do you like the disco? Uh, you know, I, I've been disco dancing lately. Well, is it because of the Daft Punk album? No, but I know that song. Oh, no, the Daft, Daft Punk album is, it's like a re retro disco vibe going on. It's just like, mm -hmm. I don't know, these kids these days. <laughs> Do you know what song, what song, what song is that? The, you know, the, uh, we know, but, uh, I can't sing it, I'm not allowed to sing it. But it's, you know, get lucky, though, you know. Oh, yeah, get no, 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 and my friend Christos took me there, me and my oh, wife, yeah. and we went. And oh, yeah, that's right. My friend Christos yes. took me, Giorgio's. My wife came too, yes, yeah. Right. <laughs> and, it, and it starts, and then it's, you walk through the kitchen into this club. I'm it's like Goodfellas. And then you get in there, and then you're, all of a sudden you're transported into Saturday Night Fever. I want to I wanna go. Uh, you should. I'm it going. It starts to late. You're exhausted when it actually the music come, comes on, which is like 1130. You're like, I have kids. Who are you people? Yeah. Um, it's too late. But let me tell you something. I danced all night long. Did you drink champagne from a slipper? No, I didn't. Can you imagine though? There were no slippers. There were champagne. There were no slippers. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Almost out of time. What? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Like now we got it out of the way, we can c carry on. That's, uh, oh, yeah. so sad. that's why I like to get the disappointment out of the way early. <clears throat> I've got a little bit of a uh -huh going on. Uh -huh. I heard it is because I heard you had some problems with your teeth. I, I did actually. I'm getting a new uh, a new crown put in because the old Scottish crown's fallen out. Is that a painful thing? <laughs> no, nah, it's not bad. A dentist, good dentist. You know, he's like. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's a process, you have to go through it. How's your, how are you? Let me have a look. <laughs> yeah, in pretty good shape. They're not bad, right? Yeah. So yeah. I need a filling. <clears throat> and I've been putting it off. I shouldn't say that, actually. I've been putting it off for like a year. A year? You're crazy. You'll need a root canal if you don't get that uh, thing seen to. I know. I'm, I'm very, I'm terrified of the dentist. Now, my mom and dad know. Great. Um, 
Are you I'm terrified of the dentist? I don't like it. I Why? Don't, I don't like it. Because they, they hold you in a very vulnerable state and they put metal and <laughs> and they put metal in your mouth. And I, I don't That's the good part. No. <laughs> I don't like it. They scratch on your teeth and it hurts. Uh, that's the cleaning. I don't like the cleaning. I don't at all. like the cleaning. Oh, either. you know. They, they tried to sell me on a deep cleaning one. Oh, don't. They always say, oh, you're going to need a deep cleaning. Yeah, we've got some pockets. I yeah. Know. Yeah. <laughs> and for a minute, I thought to myself, yeah, let's do this. Mm. And, uh, and, and they started, and I walked out in, in the middle. I said, I can't do this anymore. This is, this is too painful. I started tearing up. So now, I, from that experience, I now, I now have a, a lot of fear. But you know what else I, I noticed last time I was at the dentist? Which what? was recently. What? Where they told me I needed a filling for the 18th time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they play a lot of sting. <laughs> but not... not the police. Just Sting? Sting. <laughs> the, like the new wave stuff, like brand new day. And so like you're, you're sitting there and it dawned on me as the, the Sting came out, I go, I feel like I've heard this song every time I'm here. <laughs> My dentist doesn't play any music. He's just going, he goes, <clears throat> right, sit down. Really? You don't get any amb ambiance? Yeah, I'm lucky if I get a kiss in the cheek. <laughs> I tell you, I had a real epiphany. I go, huh. I wonder if Sting knows how often his music is being played in this place of torture. Let's call him. Yeah, that's a great idea. Hello, Sting. It's alone. It's really him. <laughs> we gotta go. We'll be right back. Here, here, here. Max Greenfield, everybody. Max Greenfield. Please, 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 no more. I'm beginning to get a little jealous. Uh, it's lovely to they see were, you, Max. They were cheering for you. No, they were not cheering for me. At the start of the evening, they were cheering for me, but I think I've kind of put them off a bit. Luckily, you're here. Maybe they were cheering for Morgan Freeman. I can't believe he called. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. I, I, it, uh, listen, he might call again. I don't oh, know. I, what? I, you know, if this is here, him, you, get it, you get it, you get it, you get it. You get it, in case it is, in case it is. Well, I'm not used to these telephones. <laughs> right? Hello? Hello, is this Max? Oh my God. <laughs> it's Morgan Freeman. Yes, it is. Morgan, The Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> what a film. I, hope. You remember that at the end, Hope? He talks about hope, it's all about hope. Is that all you have to say to me, you blathering idiot? <laughs> yeah, excuse me a second. Uh, Morgan, we're, we're kind of busy. Wait, just one, one more question. All right. Yeah. So in, at the end of the movie, uh -huh. you're in Sewatoneo, you're uh -huh. on the beach. Uh -huh. What happens then? I ain't telling you jack squat. <laughs> Red. That was the character. Red. He played Red. Red. He played Red. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What it a was, film. Yeah, it's a great film. <laughs> One of my favorite films, actually. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah, Andy Dufresne, a man who swam through a river of... Aikadamba. ...to be free. That's right. It's great, that. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, man? I, the last time I saw you was at a kid's birthday party. We were, it was like, it was like four birthday parties. What, an, what an intense birthday party. Well, was, we, I think there was like, my uh, youngest boy's class was there, but I think that there was another class. I want to say that it was uh, three birthday parties at yeah. once. Yeah, I think so. All, all at in the, there. Yeah, at the car museum. Yeah, the Peter Sonoma Museum. Yeah, yeah which right. by the way is beautiful. It's very, they've got a lot of cars there. A lot, lot of cars. <laughs> but. Uh, oddly enough, I didn't get to see many of them. I was chasing my da my daughter around and yeah, around no, and around. I, I was I just let him go when I started looking at the cars. The food, yeah. That's right. I figured he'll find me. He'll find me. That's right. Yeah. I took Lily upstairs to see some of the cars at one point, thinking, N now now we're talking. N no interest. We went to the Hollywood cars to see like some of the cars from the movies. Yeah, she probably hasn't seen a lot of Hollywood. Maybe she's she? I, I didn't. I, she's four. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I realized that halfway through. Halfway through what? 
looking at the car. I was like, Bonnie and Clyde, don't you? You don't remember. No, you never saw that movie. <laughs> yeah, are you a car guy? Are you a, like, I'm you know, not you hang all. out with Leno? Kind of... <laughs> I'm not at all. But let me tell you something. So one of the guys on our show, Lamorne, he had some sort of hookup with a Mercedes Benz, and they gave- uh, Hook up with a Mercedes Benz? Who knows? They gave him a car to drive for a full week. They were like, here, drive this car. I don't quite understand how that works, nor do Maybe I understand the benefit driving, of it. Was he driving a taxi or something, was it? <laughs> Perhaps, I don't know. They this give one. him a car, he gets a free car for, for a week. week. Right. Yeah. So they give him what looks to be like uh, the Batmobile. Wow. It's like the Mercedes Batmobile. Wow. And at some point I said, hey, you know, I'd, I'd love to know how this feels. And I got in the car with him. It was, two, it was a two-seater where there's like no back seat. You know what I mean? It's just a well, wall here. You're not going to the store in the Batmobile. No. <laughs> Well, you never know. I mean, if that's your car, you have to go to the store in the back. Yeah, yeah, but, <clears throat> but Alfred would go to the store. Batman doesn't go to the store. It's not like Alfred's gonna go, Sir, I'm afraid you'll have to go to the store. I've got a date. You know, they don't show that in the movies. Yeah, but, but he, how do supplies get into Batman's house? Oh, Batman, Batman's just uh, too busy saving the world. He makes Alfred go to the grocery store. He's the Tootsie Fruitsie. Butler, it's his job. <laughs> do, you, do you have a butler? Yes! You don't have a butler? I don't have a butler. Wait, how do you Nor get did I stuff? see the movie, but I don't think there's any uh, scene in the movie where, you know, Forrest Whitaker's going to the grocery store. <laughs> well, that, that proves that he wasn't a very good butler then, because the butler has to I go... thought the butler answers the door and yes, stuff Yes, like amongst other things. No, answering the door isn't a job. You can't just go answer the door. Is that all you do here? What, what if nobody turns up? The butler bit might be my favorite bit we've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, does like, a, what does a butler do? Well, the butles, you know, uh, <laughs> the, uh, it's something to do with butts, I guess. I, I think I, originally what I think the butler did is he, uh, he took care of the, the cabinet where you put your butt. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say that that's probably not exactly what the butler does. <laughs> No, they kind of, they take care of the household, uh, but not all of it. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But they also go for groceries, that's what it, it is. It, ma it makes me sad to know that, uh, that Alfred, yeah. m potentially Michael Caine in this scenario. Right, oh, well, be, I can do Michael Caine. All right, should, do you want me to go to the store or stay here? <laughs> you pay. I'll, do you want me to answer the door or go to the store? No, I don't want you to, you're, Alfred, you're uh, you're Michael Caine, I don't want you no, to go no, to the grocery I, store. Well, somebody's got to go, or else we won't have any... If we don't go... If I saw Michael Caine in Ralph's, dreams crushed. Do you know, I sat behind... No, wait. But Michael Caine's got to eat. Mate, what do you think? Michael Caine lives on just being awesome? He's got to eat food. Movie after movie after movie, the man lives on craft service. No, no. And here's another thing. I sat next, I sat behind him once on an airplane all the way from London to Los Angeles. Yeah. And that's how I perfected my impersonation of him because he talked to his wife the whole way. It's oh. a 10 hour flight. He was like, do you remember that time we met that bloke? <laughs> and, his, and his wife is Indian and I could, she's quite soft spoken so I could hear her going, no, I don't really remember that. And, I remember we went, we, we went down because you was, you was there and we went over there and then I got that thing to eat, it made me sick. What was it called again? Uh, sausages. Do you remember them? <laughs> the whole way, all the way. Do you never sit, sit next to anyone famous on a plane? I just like the idea that Michael Caine is such a chatty cat. He is. <laughs> He's, he's lovely. I've, I've since, he's been on the show many times. I've met him a lot. He's absolutely charming. And if he said, you remember that time that I met that bloke? I mean, how many different times in Michael Caine's life must that have been a scenario for him? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, I'm, I'm sure, sure his wife was like, well, they've been married for a very long you've time. You've met so many blokes. <laughs> well, I'm sure he was more specific later on, you know. I just was on a plane with uh, Joel McHale. That was an odd reaction. It was a strange reaction. Joel McHale's a very nice man. I have to know Joel McHale. It was like, a, it was like, a, cat, oh. it was like a cat meow yeah. in the corner. Like a cat suddenly went, <laughs> There was like, yeah, there was two cats in a... <laughs> Like the, a cat was interested in, and, and were you and Joel transporting cats somewhere? We uh, were going to New York mm -hmm. and he, we were both, our flight got delayed uh -oh. and we spent some time in the airport and then uh, sure enough, we were sitting next to each other on the plane. And did you guys, we did talked, you guys... We talked, we really hit it off. We exchanged numbers afterwards. Do you make out with him? 
No, I thought it would have been awkward. Because it's such Only because he's freakishly tall. He's so tall. And by the way, he's a big guy. Oh, yeah, he's he's a a football player. Yeah, I didn't know that. You can't tell because usually when you see him on that show, uh, The the Soup, Yes, right, right. right, he's on his own. Yeah. You know, right, so he's standing there and you're like, well, he's just a regular sized guy. Then you put someone next to him, because I went on on the show and I went, oh, I'm a little person. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you, look at me. Can you, but can, do you think it would affect your viewing experience of the soup if you knew, like, hey, man. But Joel could kick your ass? He's Jack. Yeah, yeah, he could kick your ass. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, he could. I shook his hand. Yeah. Huge hand, like, like real meat hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just he's kind of like Chuck Norris, but, um, <laughs> but smite. <laughs> You ever met Chuck Norris? Never met Chuck well, Norris. I'd be, I'd be too scared. I would be too. I'd be a little scared of Chuck Norris. You never know if he's gonna go off. <laughs> like, he could go off on you. I bet he could. Y- yeah. He's Chuck Ulala. Norris, man. Yeah. I'm kind of frightened of Steven Seagal, too. Nah. <laughs> really? Yeah, he'd never catch me. That's. That is true. I'm a good yeah. runner. Yeah, I could run from Steve. If he Scott. caught me, though, I'd done. be like, I'd, I'd be, be like, hey, fat ass, it's over for you. Boom. He's, he's running for some sort of office, I hear. <laughs> Ambling for some sort of office. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, if you're watching this. Meow. Let me tell you. <laughs> Steven Seagal watches the show. It's his favorite show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to sit down and watch the Scottish guy. Oh, honey, honey, please. I got, I got, we got to stay up. Go ahead. Tame the cat. <laughs> Fer- Ferguson's on in 15. Shh. 15? 15 minutes. I don't know. <laughs> well, you, do you get ready for a TV show? <laughs> like, if, you, if there's a TV show that you want to watch, 15 minutes before it, you start shushing your wife? <laughs> You're like, hey, honey, the show I want to see is on in 15 minutes. Shh. Sometimes I have to mentally prepare myself. I like, I like to get in the mood. It seems a bit unreasonable, though, to the other members of your household. They're like, uh-oh, Dad's, got, Dad's show's coming on. We better start being quiet. You know, maybe I overshot with the 15 Yeah, yeah. Minutes. But maybe I'll start doing that. What, like, hey, look, I'm going to prepare uh, my household. Well, what do you watch on TV? It's been a while. Breaking Bad was the last oh, one, but I needed 15 minutes. Oh, man, what a minutes. show, what a show. That I needed 15 minutes. I needed about show. 20 minutes after each show. Yeah. That was a great show. The best. Oh, unbelievable. I like that Mike fella. What one was the that? Guy, the, I, oh, the old guy. The, yeah, the older, Jonathan Banks. Yeah, the older gentleman. Oh, and, he and, broke my heart. Yeah, that was hard. For, he was doing it all for his granddaughter. Oh, it's too much. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, water. I love water. <laughs> we'll be we right got- back. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. I'm here with Mike Greenfield. So you're uh, you're you're going to the Super Bowl then? I'm, go- I'm well. You know, I'm really excited. We had such a great season, and uh, <laughs> you know, it was my first year as a, as wide receiver. You know, because I had moved from. I never meant you were playing in the Super Bowl. <laughs> I meant you're going to go to the Super Bowl. Aren't I'm, you going to go to the Super Bowl? I don't know. I, uh, Maybe you got quite everyone's Super Bowl starting in 15 minutes. <laughs> I need, I need a full hour before the Super Bowl. I'm really? Excited. Do you watch the commercials? I love the commercials. I watch, I watch some of the commercials. I like the ones that have Betty White doing mad stuff. <laughs> Betty White is a real gem. I love Betty White. You, you've done Hot in Cleveland quite a few I've times. I've done everyone on Hot in Cleveland. All of those girls. <laughs> Every single cast member there, I have done them all. By the way, oddly enough, I did an episode recently, and the only one in the episode uh, who I did not sleep with was Betty White. Wait, wait, wait. So you slept with Jane Leaves? Yeah. But Jane Leaves is the character that's my love interest in Houghton Cleveland. Sorry, man. Uh-oh. Man. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I didn't know about that. I will tell you this, though. There was, it, it didn't go any further. It was like... A, it didn't go any further than what? Sexual intercourse? How much further can it go? Well, there wait, was, what, what's further than sexual intercourse? What's after that? Well, there wasn't any emo- I'm telling there wasn't anything emo- There wasn't a spark. It just was what it was. So it, wait, let me That's just check, because I might way. actually use this in my own life. You're, it's okay to have sexual intercourse with someone if you go back and say, ah, it's all right, there was no emotional connection? Um, well, you know, if someone like yourself is sitting in front of me and is upset about it, sure. <laughs> to, e- to ease you, I wanted to just let you know. Don't ease just, me, don't ease me. 
I'll ease myself. <laughs> and of course, there'll be no emotional connection. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I love doing that show. I love those bras. Aren't they show. the best? Yeah, it's the greatest set in TV. That they are. I 100% I agree. They were great. It's just because like, they've all made a ton of money and they're all super famous and they don't and give a rat's ass. Yeah, and, they're just, yeah. and they have a great time and it's yeah. just a good group of girls. It's a good show, too. You know who's yeah. on that show? Who? Regis Philbin. Isn't he the best? He's one of them. <laughs> he came and did a bit uh, on our show. We did like some sort of funnier die with him. He was so much fun. And he, he'll do one take of something and he'll go, okay, rapo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. He's going, I, Regis is out of here. Jeff does a very good Regis. That's right. Oh, yeah. Uh, be quiet. The, the show's going to end in about 15 minutes, all right? Would you be quiet, please? But it's Rappo. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Everything is like, okay, Regis is out of here. Yeah, he, he talks a little bit about himself in the third person. I'm going to start that. Craig is going to start talking about himself like that. It's not a bad move. It's a terrible move. <laughs> it's a terrible move. You mustn't do that. People not if you're Regis, though. Well, Regis can get away with it because he's right. a television icon. That's right, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> so, the super, so, the su so the Super Bowl, I suppose. Super Bowl, yeah, yeah. yeah well. That's coming up. Who are you rooting for? Oh, you know me. <laughs> yeah, I know. I tell you, I can't pick between these two teams. It's, like it's going to be, it's, it's a, a very both. hard one to call this year. <laughs> it's very tricky to call. Yeah. Because on the one hand, you go, you know, no, and I, then on the me, other. Believe me, I know. So, I know. And then, because everybody always says, yeah, but he's going to do that. And you go, yeah, well, you know, it and doesn't always work like that. It's football. Yeah, and both defenses are so tough. And you feel like there's one, there's, obviously, there's a defense that, that we all know it is so great. Right. But I think, yeah. the, I think the other one is just... Uh, yeah, well, you, you never know. Yeah. 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 And on the day, that's why they play the game. That's right. That's why they play the game. Because if you knew who was going to win, they wouldn't have to play it. They just go, we know who's going to win. It's them. Let's not bother. 100%. And I think when it comes down to the fourth quarter... It I think one, does. One, one, and, yeah, one of those teams is going to win. <laughs> you heard it here first by Springfield, everybody. All dressed in black. It's kind of cool. You... It's the it's the only, it's the closest way I can get to Johnny Cash. It's just dressing all in black. I often think you are very like Johnny Cash. See, I I beg to differ. Uh, uh, so do I. Just actually, a, yeah, thank a you. Bit. A little bit. But if I wear all black, then I feel like I got a little Cash vibe, don't you think? Sure. Whatever. <laughs> no, I uh, I'm a big fan of Johnny Cash. Really? Yeah, Johnny Cash was huge in Scotland because he was part Scottish, you know. Was that true? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We all knew that. it, too. Yeah, he was part Native American and part Scottish. So, uh, you know, he was, yeah. Continue, I thought. Well, that's was, a very unusual. Well. well, you know, I kicking on a gouging in the mud and the blood and the beer. All that, yeah. <laughs> now I'm a big fan, too. Yeah, no, I do you like the country music? Because I'm going to talk about it in August. <laughs> There was one. You know, I, you know what I like about the country music? What? They're very matter of fact about what, what they're. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. You know, I was listening to one the other day. I got a barbecue stain on my white t shirt, and I thought, I know what this song's about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like if uh, you know if you uh, if you the Beatles were a country band they say and they sang we are the Eggmen they would be Eggmen that's right yeah they would be making some or maybe they would be making it who knows right. and if it was in an octopus's garden it would be an octopus that had a garden that's right yeah hmm. not bad so you like country music eh I'm uh you know yeah. on occasion I had you figured more a kind of Coldplay customer mm, I will tell you this. Sometimes you're driving on the freeway, it's a nice day, the sun's out, you turn down the window a little bit, all of a sudden you're like, I'm looking for something, and I don't know what it is. Yeah. And the country music comes on and you go, I know what I'm doing today. Right, I'm, I, I'm in America, I'm listening to a piece of country music, and everything's all right. It's yeah, fine. that's right. Yeah. not trying to think too much today, because I got a barbecue stain on my white t-shirt. Right, there you are. <laughs> 
things going on. I haven't seen you since the last time I saw you when you were here, and then the time before that when I saw you at that kids' party at the Peterson Auto Museum. Sure. Remember that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> There's the World Cup. That's happening. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, are you a fan of soccer? Not really, but then when it comes on uh, during this time, the World Cup, I become a fan. Stop saying it like it's not happening right now. <laughs> it is happening right now. For example, games have been played, you know. They have been played. What I find fascinating is mostly it's boring until someone scores. Um, isn't, that, isn't that life? Isn't that life, really? That is true. <laughs> That is true. They seem to, they run so, so fast and all about in a gigantic field. And then right. someone scores. And the celebration, I find, I could watch the celebrations all day long. They should just put the celebrations all in, all together, like edit them all together. Well, you could do that. Put it on your little YouTube network or something. Haven't you? You've got one of them. You're young I'm enough. Gonna, maybe I would do that. And then like every time before I did a scene in New Girl, I would listen, I would watch it to get pumped up. And it would just be like every single one. I was going to ask you, by the way, no, I'll ask you about New Girl in a minute, but the film that's called the, uh, They Came Together. They Came Together. Is, is, it, is, is that a p p porn? porn? <laughs> N no. It no. kind of sounds a little bit porn. No, it's about. I, I could. I honestly, I could see how you might, maybe think that after yes. having heard the title. Right. Having said that, it's about two people who, I suppose, are coming together. Um, at the, at the same time. So it's a fantasy porn film. <laughs> No, 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 no. These are, no, you're miss, you're, you, I can, I see where your head's going. Okay, yeah. Now, this is about two people mm. who, who come at the same time together in, in a period of their lives where, I don't know, it's, it's a climactic moment for both of them. And, uh, so I presume, uh, so I presume you're, you're uh, the guy and who plays the other guy? No, uh, well, uh, Paul Rudd. You, so you and Paul Rudd are well, the two? Well, pa it's Paul Rudd and Amy Poehler. I play a, a supporting role. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wacky neighbor? Uh, uh, brother to Paul Rudd. I could see that. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Mm. Not bad, right? Sounds good. It's good casting. Yeah. Yeah, I play the earnest younger brother. And yeah. we, we have some real, real bouts, the two of us, in this film. Well, is it, is it a, a drama? Well, you know, I certainly... It's, it's a comedy, but I didn't play it that way. <laughs> you know how Dustin Hoffman, he, uh, after Tootsie... Yes. He, he would give an interview and he goes, you know, the funny thing is, is I never saw it as a comedy. That's kind of how I felt like with, with this one, you know? Because I thought it was such an important film where you had these two people coming at the same time together. <laughs> And I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to add to that. But if they come together, isn't, isn't that enough? Well, no, it's just the end of the movie. You just give away the end of the movie and the title of the movie. That's like saying, you know, Planet of the Apes, it's really Earth. Well, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying... Sorry, the everyone, sorry, I don't know if you knew. I'm not saying the film doesn't have its flaws. All right, well, fair enough. I think it's very realistic. <laughs> What about New Girl? That's doing well. Yeah, must be in the money now. What is it? Season oh, my, oh man. Um, no, we're we're going into season four now. Season four. That's the. <laughs> I let, let, let me know what that. Is that another fly? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, is that the money fly? Yeah, that's the money fly. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, I hear. Uh, what you hear? What you hear? You hear voices? No, I hear. <laughs> what do the voices tell you to do? I'll tell you what I do here. What do you do here? I hear, and I don't. I, I'm trying to find the words to say it because I know this is network television. And I don't want to use a cuss word, but I hear. I hear that piece of. Ooh la la! Miriam has been calling you. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't mention Miriam. I can't stand her.
Excuse me. It's probably not Miriam. It I don't think it could be. Miriam. It's probably Schwartz. I, 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 I hope. I hope it's Her Majesty the Queen. <laughs> oh, well, that'd be nice. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Craig. It is the Queen. Oh. <laughs> Hello, yes, Imagine. Thank you. Oh, your little friend isn't going to stand for me, is he? Oh. Is that, I don't, is that, is that what they do? I'm so, I'm so, so sorry. Yes, that's fine. Because it's really Miriam. I give you, I give it! I give you, I hate you, you <laughs> bitch. Why did you call me? I knew it! Here, uh, somebody speak to you, Miriam. Yeah. Go stick it up your ass, Miriam. <laughs> oh. Well. <laughs> Excuse me a second. I'm sorry, Miriam. <laughs> I don't know what came over him. That was very, that was very hurtful, very hurtful. Yeah, he, he did very well. <laughs> Who is this gentleman? Sick of that, Miriam. <laughs> Click. <laughs> Do you have one of them uh, phones? Yeah, I got a phone. <laughs> You got a camera on your phone? Can I tell you this, though? I, this morning I went to get a coffee, and I did see somebody pulling out, and she was, she was yelling. This is, this is kind of like a Louis C.K. bit come to life. But this woman was yelling out of her car at somebody on the road, and she, she yelled so loud. And you, you heard it as it was happening, and you go, this can't be real. And she screamed out. And, she, and I, I didn't see who she was yelling at, but she screamed, and she goes, I hope you kill yourself, you tootsie frutsie. And I thought to myself, and then like scurried away, and I thought to myself, do you realize what you just said to another human being? People get crazy when they're driving. I don't know what it is. They just go crazy. They just go crazy. Can you imagine? I know. It's, it's nuts. I don't but know. Like, are, you, are you an even-tempered driver? Are you okay? I'm all right. I drive, I drive fairly slowly every once in a while. I'm like, you got one oh, of them, oh uh, come on. You got one of them uh, little uh, kale burners? The, uh, oh, kale burner? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. One of them little actor buggies, what are they called? Uh, Prius? No, 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 no. <laughs> drive, an, drive an Audi. An Audi, eh? Yeah. Mm. German. Yeah. <laughs> Ever been to Germany? No, I haven't. Have that's, you? That's a cool question. <laughs> Ever been to Germany? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I don't know what's... Uh, that's all right, it doesn't matter, it's fine. <laughs> we'll take a break, we'll be right back with Mike's Rainbow Lair. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mike. Welcome back, everyone. I was going to sneeze there, that's why I kind of stopped. Do you ever get that thing when you're going to sneeze and then you don't sneeze? And it kind of, like, screws you up? Were you? What did you? you oh, I was like, held oh, it like back? That, and then I don't know what happened. It just kind of like didn't happen. I was like, eh, and then it just looked like I was doing that. <laughs> I've held. <laughs> that's a good face. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've held it back a couple times, and then I feel like at some point it comes back and it hits me like what, like with much more thunder than I thought it was well, originally think, going to. Well, you think to. then you're given as you start out in life, you have a designated amount of sneezes, and you have to get through them before you die. <laughs> what? Blue well, then every time you sneeze, you're like, was that it? Yeah. <laughs> what, if your, what if your time here is measured by sneezing? <sighs> well, wait, but the, you're, all right, this, is, this feels like math now. If my time <laughs> here was measured by sneezing, oh, I see, okay. See well, then I mean? the, would I then have to answer to somebody and be like... Well, could you prolong your time by, you know, kind of going like this? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but is it worth it? <laughs> Well, depends where you're at in life. Yeah, I guess. Having a real convo here, me and you. This is nice. We should do it more often. Yeah, see? Hopefully Miriam doesn't interrupt No, us. no, I, don't, I, don't, I really don't want Miriam to call you. In fact, <laughs> even if she calls, I'm not answering the phone. It, it's not here, though. It's not, I mean, phones ring. <laughs> it's no way. Hello? I hope you kill yourself, oh, you <laughs> So we're out of time, Max. Real inappropriate, that Miriam. Don't get mad, she can't hear you now. She's not on the phone. You know what you should, you know what you, you, I mean, you know I'm, what, gonna, what? I'm gonna make a suggestion for the show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, come on then, hot shot, what have you got? 
you should, <laughs> you should have guests, every single one of them, as they leave, celebrate as if they had just scored a goal at the World Cup. <laughs> It might, in, it might involve some camera I love that! Sprint. Do we have slow motion? So we could do slow motion and like, yeah, and then, and then the horse runs out and the skeleton goes crazy and the audience goes nuts? Yeah. Right. All right then. Three, two, one. Go! He's a fine young gentleman. He is a fantastic actor. He is an astronaut. He is a chef. He is one of the greatest standers, Standard, I think, of all time. Standard, yeah, sure. He's in uh, New Girl on Fox. He is, of course, Max Greenfield, everybody. Max Greenfield. I gotta say, I'm very happy that you're here, but I am very disappointed in you. I know why. You, I asked you to come here. We had Metallica here for a week. I know you're a huge Metallica fan. I asked you to be here. You're like, yeah, I'll be there. And then you canceled on Metallica. I know. I know. It was a real, what a, what a regret. Uh, yeah, yeah, because you know what? Metallica turned up and they were like, uh, where's Max? And I was like, he's not I'm here. I'm sure, I'm sure. That yeah, was their they first were really thought. pissed. And it was, what a, what a disaster. I had so many questions, too. I'm such a big fan. Well, ask, ask any question you had for Metallica. Ask me, for I am now bonded with them as brothers. Okay, well, great. <laughs> what an opportunity. Okay, so in 82, mm -hmm. they, were, they came out with one of my favorite albums, um, and I wanted to know what the inspiration for the title was. Drugs. <laughs> See, I don't necessarily know that that's true. No, 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 but, no. You asked me, talking to me is like talking to la Metallica. Okay. <laughs> but the name of the, of, of the album is called Metal Up Your Ass. Yes. Now, Metal Up Your Ass, the, well, the, the album cover is a picture of a toilet bowl. Right. And then coming out of the toilet bowl is a giant knife, which would... Drugs. You know, imply <laughs> metal in your ass. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's a standard treatment for standing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> But it does bring up a... a you, ever a done, you ever done any Class A drugs? Like real wow. powerful hard ones? <laughs> like, like super illegal ones where the statute of limitations is not up on it and you would get into a whole lot of trouble if you admitted it on TV? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, how are things going with you? How are things at New Girl? Everything all right? Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're up and running. It's season four. Season four, that's a big money one. That's when it goes to syndication and you guys all get rich. <laughs> Is that true? Sure, why not? <laughs> Who do I need to talk to to make that happen? You got an agent? Yeah. Well, talk to that person. <laughs> talk to that, yeah. talk to that. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't tell you about it? Sure, season four, when you get season four, that's it. You get your own gold helicopter and <laughs> your star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. What do I do with a, a gold helicopter exactly? Melt it down. <laughs> How does one go about doing that? You start a big fire. <laughs> I tell you, you got all the answers tonight. I know Metallica. <laughs> so you're a fan of the rock and roll then? Really, really for really? Yes. I feel like, and now let me tell you something, I became a Metallica fan later in life. It just has this, this certain energy to it where... Yeah, you, you should have been here when you were right next to her. I oh. know. I have these moments where you'll be like, I'm, I'm with my wife and the kids in the back seat, and you're driving to West Elm because you got to pick up like a poof, and you're thinking to yourself... <laughs> <laughs> You know this, you know this. Oh, listen, true. I've driven around looking for a poof more times than you can imagine. <laughs> you know this is, you know this is true. And then you're like... Don't often have the wife in the car, but hey, whatever. <laughs> and the only thing you can think to yourself is, I'm going to take this moment back by putting on some Metallica right No, no, I, 
I understand that. I understand that feeling. It's a, it's the desire to still be, you know, crazy and young and vital. But you're a parent now, and you're not. Well, everyone... <laughs> but I want to be so bad. Because yeah. you just want to be like, hey, honey, do you want to ride the lightning right now? And, like, they don't necessarily want to ride the lightning. No, they don't. I feel no. like I'm riding it myself. You, you don't really ride the lightning in a minivan. It doesn't... It's not what happens. <laughs> I still but ride, I put, you know, just ride the lightning. <laughs> <laughs> the joy I get of driving the minivan around now is that I drive slightly below the speed limit. Yeah. <laughs> that drives people crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but wouldn't it, what, you, like, you pull up to school, the minivan door opens, and mm. as the mini door van opens, as your kid is getting out, like all the other kids and like the, the, you know, the teachers, whomever out there, the monitors, all of a sudden they start to hear Metallica come out of the car. Yeah. And, and the kid like, comes oh, out of the car. I wish that guy was my dad. Yeah. And you just give him the nod like, yeah, that's how, we, that's how we're coming to school these days. Yeah, that's how we roll. That's how we're doing this. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, man. <laughs> Is that what you're into, Metallica? And what about a little bit of the punk rock? You listening into the punk rock? Yeah, I've been I've been listening to a lot of the old the old like television. Oh man, that's going way back. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. The, the old like New York television. Yeah, New York Dolls, New York Johnny Dolls. Thunders, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. That's the real deal, son. Well, welcome aboard. All right. Yeah. Some Lou Reed. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. So you go, what you do is you get a babysitter and you take your wife out in the minivan. You guys go down Sunset and get some rock and roll. You want to know what was a nice moment? What? I had, uh, I had my phone and we were listening to all these songs in the car and I, and I said to Lily, Lily was sitting in the back seat, I go, Lily, you tell me wh when we hit a song that you want to stop and listen to because right. she's got real opinions about music. Right. And we went through like a lot of stuff and you know, I have some of my wife's music on there, which is a lot of Madonna and we passed, which mm -hmm. I have nothing against Madonna, I love Madonna, but we Sure, passed sure, I love that. that English guy. And we asked, <laughs> we ended up on the replacements and she goes, stop right there. Oh, nice. And I got very excited. Oh, well. Go, what taste oh, no, oh, my no, no, daughter no. has. My youngest boy. Yeah. Four years old, Joy Division. That's nice. Yes, that is nice. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> He's like, radio, not <laughs> like, that's my boy. Take that, the Wiggles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. I like that he stopped on Joy Division. Yeah, no, he likes Joy Division. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that's a good movie. You're seeing the, the movie they made about Joy Division? Control? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's a good film. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. <laughs> You don't want to come on and plug somebody else's film. I know, but I love that movie. Was, it was so Anton good. Corbin did that movie? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's talented. a good, yeah, yeah, it's good, yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah, good movie. <laughs> you know what else is a good movie? You ever see that movie with Steve Coogan, uh, The Trip? You know, I haven't, but they made another one. Oh, yeah, they're made, yeah, yeah, it's good. There's movie. two, yeah. yeah. good movie. Yeah. You know what's another good movie? Huh. I saw, uh, there's a movie called, uh, I think I don't know, I just thought about it, uh, Edward Scissorhands. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because it's a parable. It's a parable. That's what I love about that movie. It's like, you know, hey, get out of here, Edward Scissorhands. You're different from us. Oh. Yeah. No, I get it. <laughs> yeah, it's about, it's about acceptance. Acceptance, right. Yeah. It's Kafkaesque in that regard. It's a bit like Metamorphosis, don't you think? Sure. <laughs> you know what else is a good movie? Well, Big. Big is a great movie. I tell you, Tom Hanks is an American uh -oh. treasure, isn't I tell it? you. <laughs> Big might be the best Crikey. movie I've ever seen in my life. No. <laughs> no, man. Well, what's the best movie? Inglorious Bastards is the best Crikey. movie I've ever seen. But even when they're dancing on the piano? They don't do that in Inglorious Bastards. <laughs> But what if they did? Then it would be an even better movie. You're there absolutely you right. There Max, go. we gotta go. <laughs> let's let's do an awkward. We've never done this before. Okay, here, ready. Awkward handshake. Do what? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Totally new thing. We're introducing it tonight, along with Jeff's sister. <laughs> brother, Susan. My brother. Yeah. All right. Ready? Okay. Actually, you know what's a really awkward handshake? When somebody goes in for a different kind of handshake that you... Right, I'm going for fist pump. Yeah, okay, right, for, right, right, okay, right, all right. Yeah, so thanks so much. Oh, Thank no, it's been great. great. <laughs> then, there, then there's like this move. <laughs> Let, let's try that again. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then you make out. 
Yeah, there you go. <laughs> nice green shirt, everybody. Can I uh, can I crack this nut for you, Jeff? If you would, please. Yeah, and uh, and also uh, I'll put some in your cup. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See when I'm doing this. Oh look! Look at that. <gasps> Just right for a coconut bra. You know, that reminds me of a lyric, a limerick I was thinking of. A limerick? Yeah, a limerick. Yeah. All right, try it then. There once was a man from Glasgow who hosted his own late-night talk show with a robot who's gay and a horse that snorts hay. How we're still on the air, I do not know. Good night, everybody. Beautiful.